Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Bumi Victor, in case you're new here. Today, I'm just chilling out with my friend. We just got back from work. FYI, we work in the same place. And we're having a little slumber party. <laughs> or just like, um, just um, chilling. It's um, a Friday night and we'll just be playing games and having fun, basically. We just got back, we just showered and changed and we're about to prep our dinner. I'm hoping we'd have a little chit chat because um, she's also an international student or was an international student. I'm going to try to get a view on things and basically that's what's going to be. I'll see you guys in a bit. So guys, my friend Tanimola is making us dinner. Honey. I see you. <laughs> Hi guys. What are you cooking? Pasta. Um, bolognese in a way. Actually, just creamy, creamy, spicy pasta mm. with some bacon and some meat. That would be sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh you, you don't know about me. Anyway, yeah. like, I've eaten a couple of food that you've made and they were really nice. <laughs> you really embrace, okay? <laughs> when did you decide to move to the UK? Uh, I think at this point it's a no brainer, really, because of the economic situation in Nigeria. So, yeah, it's mostly for like career advancement, economic, economic. Um, the economic situation and then like also for my future children i want to give them the responsible mom that you know you know you know <laughs> so maybe they will do for life okay but then it could have been something else like it doesn't have to be academic like you didn't have to come and study well, yeah 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 like, so this is actually my second master's exactly. and i got a master's okay. it was easier and faster and i just did it at, the point, at that point in my life i needed a sudden move and change and uk was fast and uk is quite predictable if you do everything you're supposed to do you would you should get the visa so i guess that was why i just went ahead for it that house is actually true i think i was having this conversation with one of my friends yesterday and i was saying uk is for speed and then you can almost tell that you're going to get done. yeah once you have your car you put your money in yeah it's not like america or canada that is quite subjective yeah uk yeah. once you follow like the rules is there no um, black and white like you know, the website if you follow that you are almost certain you're going to get your visa and then at the end of the day it's also the grace of god but you know just do your own part I'm sure you've taken more alcohol than I have. What do you mean? Equal, not you have the equal. How is it equal? Equal. I don't know where it was drinking. How is it equal? Because you're an alcoholic girl. <laughs> Like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
the field. Guys, food is finally ready. I'm all set to eat now. <laughs> Actually, it took us all to make this food. Because we're just like farming, like playing with it. Oh, but it looks really, really good. <laughs> Really good. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 I think it's a stability for me. Like just knowing that like once I get a job, like everything is stable, like it might aside from like once I get a job, like I will wake up tomorrow and the price is dead five thousand naira. Like and if everything goes up, I know for a fact that things are gonna go down. And it's just like if I'm spending my money, I know it's working for me. Like if I'm taking thirty pounds or fifty pounds or hundred pounds into a shop, into Morrison's or Tesco's or, or Quick Rose, I know I'm just spending my money. As opposed to like in Nigeria, spending fifty pounds and looking at my shopping bag and like who did I buy it? So and also like the fact like I can get more options like. Um, and there are more job options and like, I can leave a job when I'm frustrated and the job the job, the job is toxic I can get more options out there like I'm not tied down to a job so I think in fact that's even the key thing for me I think I feel like that <laughs> yeah knowing that you know the way you are in Nigeria that employers know that you're going nowhere mm -hmm. so they can give you shit exactly <laughs> you think it's like <laughs> girl tell me about that shit like you know like you know and uh, and they, they take the case because like, they know that like they know that there's no labor law protecting us, there's no yeah. protecting us, like we we'll take whatever they throw at us. So you know it's funny that in Nigeria um, um, contract staff are the ones who suffer the most, but here in the UK it's just different. Yeah, exactly. They earn more. Yeah. Also in the UK you have options with jobs. Mm -hmm. So if you are freelance, you sort of register with the agencies. Yeah, exactly. And I think she as you want. And I think in a way it's a good thing, yeah, but in a way it's a bad thing because everybody's all about like because there's so much like opportunities, like everybody's all about work. But as I, as I say there's so much opportunities, we also need to let people know that it's not easy. You can be unemployed for months. For months, like the um, UK job market is so hard. Like you can only saturated. It's saturated. And there are so many things you need to do to like trick your C V and stuff to give you a upper, a upper hand. I think that C V is one of the things that will be hard for me. Maybe yeah. that you can't just see a job and just apply. Because in Nigeria, I just have no C V for everything. <laughs> But yeah, I need to look at the job description and see how I can fit my CV to fit into that. It's a lot of work, to be honest. It's a lot of work. It feels like I have so much to eat, to be honest. Oh god, I don't know how I'm going to burn. The food is so good. Yeah. Really, like it was, it was really good. I, I really enjoyed it because I had one my first seven and then I had another one because mm -hmm. it was just really good. Well. And I didn't plan to eat that much at all tonight. Mm -hmm. I do <laughs> that. Uh, so what we did, whilst we were, we were having our dinner, we went on IG live and it was really funny. And so now we're just going to move to Netflix. We have a movie that we're going to see. I've seen it before. This last man. Has not seen the movie. I don't know who has not seen La um, Ras Guy. You see, you can't even say the name right. Ras Guy. You can't even say the name right. Who has not seen the name right? Meaning, 
Meaning the movie is dead. Like it's not dead. Remember the game of the movie. I didn't say okay. You said it was dead. Okay, 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 fine. Yes, it may be dead. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, let me know if you've seen Raz Guy. So guys, we're ready for our movie. I did now. I see the speed here now. I should have, should have, should have now. Now, when I go now, decide to play now. That's why. Oh, see the boy. Ignore him. Why are you here so early? Wasted money on cures. Forgot how to fix myself. They say that time. 